Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys some possible fixes to your Clipchamp crashing. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm using the browser version and everything is fine for me and I cannot replicate the problems you might be having since it doesn't want to crash. But if you're having crashes, especially on the web browser version, uh, if you're on the web, uh, the only potential reason it might be happening is that your browser either doesn't support it or that something got corrupted. And the only fix for that is either to clear the cache of your browser as well as your history. And once you've clear, cleared that, if that doesn't fix it, you can try reinstalling the browser or just switching to another one and seeing that uh, if that fixes it or not. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm not sure what the uh, well problem or the fix might be. Uh, if you have any other fixes, I do implore you to write in the comments below. Uh, but if you're using the desktop version, a couple of different things might have happened. Uh, for example, your system might have updated and that might have broken something in your app. Uh, then you can either try reverting it to a previous version or you can try updating it to make sure all the system files are in their place and working perfectly. Uh, other than that, you can try uh, restarting the, uh, well, device and the app as well. Uh, you can restart the app uh, until it works. If it doesn't want to work, you should try reinstalling it uh, or just restarting your PC uh, if your PC is glitched out. If you restart it, it just reverses to a normal working order and that might fix the problem itself as well. And if that doesn't, then most likely you're going to have to restart or reinstall your app uh, you can either repair it by running the installation again and just choosing the repair option or if you want to completely uh, repair it or completely reinstall it just uninstall it from your system however that is done for you and then just reinstall it the same way you've installed it uh, originally and that should fix your problem and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys in another video